Uh, guys, uh, this is Jagan from Capital Zone, and today we are going to see an important strategy, intraday strategy, 920 strategy. And don't get confused with 920 intraday that uh, we would be doing with a uh, Nifty or Bank Nifty option strategy, right? So having a fixed stop loss. This is a different strategy, and it is not a non-directional strategy. It is a directional strategy, and you are going to take trade exactly at 920 and uh, based on some conditions and what are the conditions that's what i'm going to explain to you guys uh, this strategy can be done with the cash it can be done with the futures so it can be done with option as well option buying also it can be done because uh, the uh, the duration of the uh, trade is going to be most of the time it is going to be one hour so there is not much decay you're going to suffer so without wasting time let's go into the topic so first uh, 919 okay you have to look at whether the market is up or down. If it is up, you are going to look for a long opportunity. If the market is down, you are going to look for a short opportunity in a particular script, not in Nifty or Bank Nifty, particular script. So which script we have to look uh, for short, which script we have to look for long, okay? And today is a Tuesday, okay? And uh, to today the market was down at 9.19, okay? So now we are going to look for short opportunity so what is the short opportunity we are going to look okay which script we are going to choose a very simple you need to look the look at the top loser okay top losers uh, one actually you have to look so here you can see titan asian pain bajaj fins out dv slab adani port and these are the scripts you are going to look for an opportunity okay are we going to short all these scripts no so how are you going to choose a script and i will let you know okay so wait for a few minutes i will explain to, the, to you so we have to load this this one into the chart okay so i have loaded asian paint right now because asian paint was top loser at 919 okay you can also load uh titan as well so not a big issue at all so once you load the chart five minute chart you're going to load okay so within this how do how are we going to qualify this one okay number one condition okay number one condition the wicks should be greater than one person at 9 19 am because you are looking for short opportunity if the market is really bearish right then the wick should go in the wick should go up that is a number one criteria number two as i said in a particular script you are going to look at in a money control or any other website top five losers you are going to take and load the chart here you are going to enable a particular indicators called previous day high previous day low okay previous day high previous day low so for this day for this day this is previous day high this is previous day low it's called pdl previous day low previous day high and this is said to be pdr previous day range okay and any stocks which is outside this pdl or pdh if the market opens here it's called gap down if markets open this PDR, it's called gap up. We are not going to take any stocks which does a gaps. Any stocks which is opening outside this range, we are not going to choose it. So why? Because any stocks which does a gaps, okay? Historically, as per the back testing, it's proven that it doesn't move much faster or most of the time it reverses it reverses so we are going to choose the stocks which are opening in the range of pdr this one say for example downside opportunity it opens here and then closes here okay at 920 you need to look for the stocks which is opening here the asian bend is opening here and closing outside this pdr range okay so closes below this pdl and this red candle should be very very strong candle Okay, so once it is done, okay, now we are going to short this one, right? So where? Here, 920. Short Asian pain. Or else you can buy a put option. Short open. Next candle open. What is the stop loss we are going to put? The stop loss is day high. This is the initial 
should stop loss. Okay, initial stop loss. Next, once we short, this is initial stop loss. Where is the target we need to have? Say for example, this is 20 points. Do we look for 40 points or 60 points? Guys, at 9.20, we are looking for a very good short, shorting opportunity. Sometimes you will get a fantastic, fantastic profit. And my advice, do not book any book profit. You always need to do a trialing a profit. So how do we trial your profit? Simple, simple concept. Okay. For trialing, either you can use, uh, either you can use uh, uh, super trend or you can use the VWAP. If the market closes above this VWAP, or as soon as market touches this VWAP, so short here, TSL here, profit. Okay. The logic is very simple guys. When market opens in PDR, this is PDR. Okay. And goes below this PDR, almost everyone in the previous day, right? Almost the people who are in previous day, right? will be in a panic because their buy rate is always higher than this, right? So they will be under panic. And why we are not choosing gaps? Because after the gap, the market may reverse and the gaps may be filled. That is the reason why opening inside the PDR and closing this one, short day highs opportunity and use either VWAP or super trend of 10 comma 2 for trailing your profit that's it okay so how do we do this for long side so long side is also very simple you need to first look for nifty should be up positive nifty should be positive that is the first thing you should look and you should look for top five scripts top gainer okay for long option for long uh, Right. Number three, what is the rule? After this, no gaps. Don't look for any, so no gaps. Gaps should not be there. Fourth one, open in PDR. What is PDR? Previous day range. Open in previous day range, this range. And closes above this PDR. This means PDL. And close is should be higher than PDL. What is PDL? Previous day high. It opens above this PDL. And what is the stop loss? The stop loss is initial SL is day low and TSL is either you can use VWAP or super trend. In long run, it doesn't make any difference at all. That's it. Guys, this opportunity will get every day it's because every day market is either bullish or bearish. So, you will get an opportunity every day. And one more conditions I have I missed to uh, put down. The VIX should be down by 1%. 1%. In short side, it should be up by 1%. In downside, it should be minimum 1%. So in long side, we should look only for uh, uh, top gaining scripts. In short side, we'll look for only the uh, top losing scripts. That's it, guys. With this, Every day you should be able to find some stocks which are going down along with the market or some stocks which are going up along with the market. So you will be able to make a fantastic profit. Guys, and if you have any comments about this strategy, you can always put in comment section. And uh, I hope this video is really useful. Thanks for watching. I will be back with one more video soon.